Okay, hi everyone, it's Conzel here. So just gonna do a quick update on the Taiwan patch notes. Um, I actually didn't did the one previously, so I'm just gonna quickly cover the last uh, week's Taiwan update. Which essentially the main thing is the introduction of the tier 7 pets, or rather the nightmare of the tier 7 pets. Uh, basically the tier 7 pets now, they, as you get your level higher, to beyond 25 you start getting a additional effect so for example for the ap pets you will get dp and when you mess out the tier 7 pet eventually it will be level 37 that's sorry level 35 45 ap 15 dp and for the boss pet right where is it uh, the boss pet the secondary effect is the world boss damage increase which uh, is becoming important because of all the different rankings they are doing for the world bosses now and the next thing, which is the PvP damage dealt, is going to become PvP damage reduction, or rather, there will be a PvP damage reduction here, as you can see, for the additional effect. So, all in all, the, the uh, three pets that I recommended previously is still, uh, still there, still applicable, just that there are further expansions to their stats and the tier level. I honestly am very very okay. There's a lot of CP to begin from this. Uh, I think it's a few hundred, 300 to 400 CP to begin from this. But I am honestly very glad that I'm not playing the main account anymore because just recalling the nightmare I had for tier 6 pets was awful, simply awful. We don't have few safe or few stack for pets, that's why it's awful. Okay. So you can feel like 40 plus tier 6 pe uh, pets trying to get Sorry, 40 plus tier 5 pets trying to get tier 6 pet And you still don't, don't get a single one That was what I experienced previously So yeah That was the very first time I felt like quitting the game So I'm very very glad I don't need to care about this now That I'm a casual player uh, But for those of you guys who are like actively uh, playing and pursuing, right? Then the tier seven pets do give uh, quite a nice amount of CP. For every two pets, you you will get the collection bonus, and the collection bonus for every two pets, I think it's about like fifty plus sixty CP per two pets. So you can imagine the amount of CP you can get from it. Okay, um, this I personally quite like this change where the daily quests have been uh. How should I put it? Streamline to total of eight only in one day. But when you finish them, you get twenty. You get the twenty pearls. And I mean, this is quite similar to what you have previously, right? But the difference is that there's also a weekly quest where the weekly quest you just do do four of them, you get fifty pearls as well. So that's quite nice. And you have stuff like uh, win three times in rank arena, win once in Ramonas. Complete 5 POG, spam 5,000 desert currency, kill 1,000 desert mobs, win one time in Black Sun. Oh, sorry, not Black Sun, uh, Battlefield of Sun. So it's not too bad. And the daily quest is streamlined to complete two bounties complete uh, Tower Trials, Hadoom Tower Trials, three Black Spirit quests, one Hadoom Black Spirit quest, the uh, Merchant Tree. Get merchant, sell silver, sell items and get silver in merchant tree one time. Uh, what was the next one? Uh, use 100 uh, stamina. Yeah. I think there was one more, right? Yeah, there's one more. Actually, let me just go in game. Been doing this every day anyway. Ah, okay. So 100 social tokens, which is like really easy to get, right? So these are the rewards. I think it's pretty good. This uh, change here, a nice quality of life change. Oh, by the way, the complete two bounties only applies when you have a uh, store balance less than level 100. They give you the blood rate crystal, this particular blood rate chaos crystal that gives a full 100% level. So this is very nice for low store balance level players like myself right now in on the sub account. Okay. Okay, so basically, this is the gist of the uh, last week's update. As a change in the Battlefield of Sun reward, where you use SP scroll to get better SP scrolls. Still, concept is still the same. 
one to three, basically, and the rest of it are some minor buff fixes, etc. So the biggest change, in fact, is the buff to Raven. That I will do a separate video for, because there's too much content to cover on that. Oh, there's the freeze to the the nerf to the uh, armage where there's a reduction. In, basically, it's a it's almost a 0 0.5 second reduction from two seconds of the invulnerability during fusion fall to like 1.5 seconds. Yeah. Okay, so then I can move on to this week's update. Uh, before that, I should talk about last week's uh, per shop. There's really only one item uh, that I really need to talk about which is this item here where they are actually giving the Ocean World Boss extra entry ticket a nice amount of valor tokens, 30k which is required for Zodiac then you have 450 red lightstone uh, chest which is good for Hado Potion and also the pink lightstone in future which uh, Korea just got it this week I saw the system, I am not a fan it's basically using the same system as the uh, ocean enhancement and uh, very painful very 100% luck based <laughs> but one of the real reason why I want to talk about this per shop package here is because of this item here where basically you can buy a world boss fragment chest within this package itself you can see the number of fragments that it gives it's one of these and it's not random you can choose what you want so the amount is actually slightly more than a red weapon or a red armor. So it's actually pretty good if you it's pretty good for players who want to get as much uh they want to craft as much of the red gears as possible in order to get the dimensional fragments for doing the chaos gear enchantment. For a sub account like myself, right, this will be great for getting my pink gear. But obviously I'm a casual player and an F2P player now, so I did not buy this. I have not spent any amount on that uh, F2P account so far since I started playing it again. Previously, I think I bought a couple of those like new or returning player packages, very, very small amount. And of course, obviously, last week you will have uh, pet packages, tier 5, tier 6. Then you have the tier 6 pet package as well, which is quite costly. It's like uh, about 100 USD. Likewise, for this package I was talking about, it's also 100 USD. A bit costly. Yeah. Alright, now let's talk about this week's update. Basically, it's a new region of the ocean, the fourth region, the Magoria uh, Sea region. There's going to be one more, which is the last one, the fifth region. So, the, f the new Magoria region, basically, the key attraction. Other than the fact that you always get to improve your, your ship and your ship equipment and in turn your CP There's an unlawful region So this means that your boats, your, your battleship can You can do PK And this PvP You can kill your friends You can kill your guildmates as well Yeah, it doesn't differentiate between your guildmates So your <laughs> You, if you have some secret grudge against one of your guild member, that's, this is where you can uh, take care of it. <laughs> uh, there's also a way for them to attract people to play the Unruffle region. Is that there are special pirate ships around this island here that has a high chance of dropping the uh, Paddock's Pirate Island ticket. To help people, to, to the one that gives you Goddess Tears when you do the dungeon. So that is the allure here for people, the motivation for you to go and play in the unlawful zone in the uh, fourth sea region, Magoria. So this is just talking about the requirements to update the upgrade your ship from tier 3 to tier 4. Uh, but basic concept is the same. You need a bit of wood resource. You need a blueprint for the ship, which you can get from the quest and story quest and for the uh, 100 of the materials so I would I have actually done a complete more or less complete journey from uh, the very beginning to tier 3 ship right now for my uh, sub account I already split it into a few videos so I'll do one more for this the farming of the materials for the tier 4 ship okay 
Other than that, oh, there's also a new potion. Basically, this is the potion for the ship. The concept of this is like the potion for the ship. So, basically, they give you the chance to craft the uh, better potion. Which is good because I, I think I have a lot of this material. On my main account, it was like 5 digit already. On my sub, obviously, it's only 4 digit. Okay, what else? Yeah, I already covered all the stuff here. The nice thing is that uh, the, when you go into ocean, right? If you leave your character in uh, farming, right? Basically, it achieves the same effect like when you do Black Spirit mode, where your character is still farming while you are doing ocean. So it's a bit of a uh, uh, sorry, it's a bit of a benefit per se. Okay. Let's see what else you can store the location in ocean, which I think is really important. Because now I always have to manually remember the good spots. So at least now that they, this this is there, it's good. Mm, a few improvements here and there where you can finally click the uh, ocean monster to target them. And the most important stuff in my opinion is the fact that now the medium mobs, medium mobs in ocean, you can actually get the uh, upgrade parts from it. Although at a lower chance, but hey, at least you can get it now. Better than having to go for the uh, higher tier mobs and taking a long time to kill them or dying easily to them. Okay. What else? Oh, okay, so this is just saying that when you use the tier 4 ship, you get better rewards from the Ocean World boss and you return the Ocean World boss HP is increased. There is a nice change here where the standard world bosses Instead of getting golden statue from the alien bosses, we can now get world boss fragments. And instead of getting boss stems from Hadoom world bosses, we get uh, boss fra world boss fragments as well. I think the golden statue change to world boss fragment is good, but the boss stem to fragment is debatable because uh, fragments are still useful for getting dimensional fragments to do the enchantment for chaos gear. But all in all, I think boss stems are still better. Yeah. Okay, what else? Uh, oh, this is just increasing the multiplier for boss stem, boss rush, Hadoom boss rush, and Zodiac. That's all. Just make, allow you to do it faster, that's it. Uh, anything else? Most of these are really just UI changes along with some text changes for items, so no need to go through them. These are a couple of bug fixes for classes where sometimes the damage is not dealt and they just fix the bug. That's it. Okay, so I don't need to cover more of that. Let's go on to the per shop and events for this week. I will cover the previous week as well. So this week we are getting the uh, a simple quest where you do the ancient ruin once a day and you get 800 goddess tears. Which, if you think about it, right, by the time you do 7 days, the amount that you get is only about 1 uh, Ocean World Boss amount. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still good to have, but it's not fantastic. Okay, we're having a rope event here as well. I know you guys had this previously. Uh, I just used all my rope. I think it's pretty good. Quite a good chance of getting uh, Black Pearls. Because for us, we have Black Pearls in there. Uh, this is the one where you have all the bosses, uh, fighting all the bosses in a row. Audio of the Fallen, I think that's the official English name, right? But it's only on Monday, so my my returnee bonus will end before that and I won't be logging in the game for two weeks so that I get the returnee bonus again. So I'll probably skip this event. The chance of getting red gear and pink gear from this probably is not going to be high. It's probably a higher chance of getting boss stamps. Oh, last week we got a quest to do 2 bounties a day, eventually up to 20. So not too bad. These are pretty straightforward the rewards. Else, daily login, nothing much to talk about. I do like the bingo. You guys are getting the same bingo uh, event this week. So pretty straightforward, just get 3 lines and get the 3 rewards. Refresh 3 times a day of the rewards. That's it. Uh, okay, these are the new new players slash returning players rewards. Okay, 
So, uh, yeah, last one, first shot. Actually, this week's first shot, nothing much to talk about. You, if you see here, there's only three new packages. And I honestly think the three new packages are not great. So you have here one for sushi, but I don't recommend spending on sushi because there's a lot of other ways to get sushi, mainly from the Lucky Shop, etc. Even Lucky Shop too. Okay. Let's see, what is this? Uh, yeah, this is just for accessories. And the percentage chance is very bad on this. The pink accessory chance is something like 0 0.25% or something. So, oh yeah, I have the rates here, right? Yeah. Yeah, 2%. Okay, slightly better than I remember, but it's still crap. Most of the time, you'll just be getting 4 rate or 5 rate accessories. And it's terrible. And the next thing you have here is the POG tickets. So ours is really quite expensive. You see here for this price, right, which is almost 100 USD or about 90 USD. This is like 2,000 white pearls, 3,000 black pearls, 10 of the extra entries, and a random chance of getting 12 to 20. That is really quite expensive. Uh, even on my main account this week, right, I probably wouldn't buy this maybe one or two of this that's it just to get white pearls for buying the daily items but otherwise i wouldn't want to buy this it's, uh, it's too expensive yeah so i'm very glad that i'm being a casual account now because i'm not buying any of this all right okay so what is this oh no this is staple all right so thanks everyone for watching this has been a very quick review of okay anyway it's still 60 minutes but uh, two weeks worth of content, so yeah, there you go. Thanks everyone for watching, bye!